it's a dangerous threat, more common than you think. In fact, three out of every five people killed in a house fire didn't have a working smoke alarm. So is your home prepared? To find out, the Orlando Fire Department is out in force, checking homes for safety risks. Hi. Hi. Jeff Rosson from the Today Show. How are you? Good. <laughs> We're here with the fire department. We're checking for people's smoke alarms today to make sure you're safe. Can we come in? Sure. <laughs> right away, a problem. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to push the button on it just to test the battery and the audible portion of the alarm. Not working. So this detector does not work. So the one in your bedroom isn't working. No. What's that like to see? It's upsetting because that's the first place we're going to hear it if it's going to go off. <laughs> but we're not just finding problems. Firefighters are fixing them, installing brand new alarms for free. I'm glad we came. I'm glad you guys came too. Next door, we meet Peggy. Her detector's not working either. I don't do ladders anymore because I'm afraid of falling. So you can't check those detectors? Right, and I always forget when someone else is here to get them to check it for me. That's so. why we're here for you today. Good. But then, an even bigger problem. So, here we are in the kitchen, which is the source of a lot of residential fires mm -hmm. and no smoke detectors. You're supposed to have one here. Within 10 feet of your kitchen, you should have a smoke detector. None here. No smoke detectors. The fire department installing two new alarms for Peggy. All right, it works. We check house after house, finding problems in nearly all of them. There's no battery in here at all. No battery. I probably used it on something else. But the biggest tip of the day, one I've never heard before, inside this man's house. He thinks his detector works fine because when he tests it, it beeps. When that alarm sounds, it tells me two things. It tells me your battery is good, and it tells me that the alarm works. But he says what it doesn't test is the sensor that actually detects smoke. The detector was manufactured in 2002. It's about 15 years ago. We like to change them out every 10 years. Why? Dust starts blocking the sensor. It can no longer see smoke. And you wouldn't know it. No problem. He says there's an easy way to test the sensor. The candle test. Just light a candle and blow it out. Place your alarm right over the smoke, and it should go off. It's not going off. That would tell me that this sensor has probably got some dust built up onto the sensor. I had no idea. This blows your mind a little. It does, because I just put a battery in it a couple days ago when it started chirping. We helped. We <laughs> helped. All right. All right. Sounding the alarm so your family stays safe. <laughs> Happy to help.